In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a question that I was asked by Carrie Camel about a week ago. Hi, Paul. Have you ever done any videos slash demos on the best way to do journals through Captivate 8 so they can be printed or downloaded for the learner at the end of the module training? Thanks. Uh, to be perfectly honest, Carrie, no, I have not done anything like this. Um, but you know, I'm always up for a challenge, and in this case, actually, it turned out to be no challenge at all because this functionality is built right into Adobe Captivate. I'm sure there's other ways you could do this, like you could create your own uh, button that opens up a text box, or you could just have a text box on all slides or, or through the rest of your project and then have it constantly update and store um, to a variable that then the user could uh, save the contents to or, or whatever. Um, but, you know, I'm always a big fan of using the tools that are built into an application rather than try to reinvent the wheel. So let me show you uh, actually a built-in learning interaction that's part of Captivate 8 and uh, you can just access that from the interactions drop down button and then go down to learning interactions which is the last entry and these this is where all that that fun stuff is now i i've said this before i'm not a big fan of a, a lot of these because of course they kind of they kind of lock you into a particular style of doing something but this is actually a case where you know you you can kind of customize this to a degree um, let's insert this. This is the notes interaction and we're just going to insert this on the slide of your choosing. You could use the very first slide of your course or you could put it right at the the very first uh, uh, opportunity to learn something you know past all the preamble stuff. <clears throat> so this is going to create uh, a widget that um, that will appear on your your page. The widget itself is the button to launch the note tool. You can choose the default notes icon, which uh, you know for some people, as you see, like a lot of my courses are very flat design. I don't use a lot of 3D skeuomorphic type stuff. Uh, I try to stick with uh, just plain and simple. I don't want to over overwhelm my my learners. So. Uh, in this case, I would probably use a transparent icon and place it over top of an icon that I've designed or a graphic that I've designed to launch this. But for the, the sake of this video today, we'll just leave the default uh, icon. Um, you can add notes for each slide. So maybe there's a reason you would want people to have a separate note that needs to be saved uh, but isn't persistent. I'm not sure what that is, but I think most likely um, you would want to add the notes for the for the entire project. You can have the uh, note have some default message. Uh, it could be something as simple as some basic instruction. Just type your notes in the area below. Could work. And that becomes part of the note as well. And then, of course, uh, you can choose the default storage ID, which is Project 01. Um, but you can override that and type in um, another storage ID. This is essentially the variable uh, where it stores the information the user has, uh, has um, typed in. I'm going to stick with the default storage ID right now. So I have no reason to create my own unique one. And before we click on uh, OK, let's just take a couple of moments to uh, uh, just to acknowledge these uh, usage tips at the bottom. So add notes at the topmost object in the slide timeline. The reason you do this is that you don't want the, the user's note to slide behind objects that are running in your course. Um, also, uh, always make notes timing set to rest of projects, so don't let me forget to do that. And uh, do not resize or rotate because it will mess up the appearance, uh, especially of the uh, 
of the uh, the icon itself and don't add effects well that all makes pretty much simple sense so I'm going to click OK here and it's going to create the note widget button now I'm going to place this up at the top here uh, so it's out of the way and this is actually an area within all of my courses that is free and clear I know nothing is going to interfere with that location and what I need to do now of course is go over to the timing uh, panel and of course if you don't see the timing panel uh, just make sure that this is selected and that timing I think is right there yeah so make sure that's checked off as well um, and we just want to set this for the rest of the project and that's all you need to do so this will appear on the rest of the project for the entire course so let's just preview this I'm gonna do this uh, I'll do the next five slides just to demonstrate that it is persistent across uh, multiple slides but obviously it wouldn't be much use to your learners if they couldn't uh, pull it up um, you know whenever they wanted and add notes to it so I'll just mute that out for my purposes there so this is my um, you know my, my what's in it for you slide of this particular course uh, or sorry no this is an agenda slide um, so at any point if I wanted to start taking notes as an end user I just need to click on the note icon which is again located there and so a couple of things about the the note um, the, the user would need to keep this open um, if they close it right the instinct would be to click that little X guy there that's going to delete the note so either whatever they've typed in is gone uh, so bring that up and let's just type something in here um, the Sun was shining on the sea shining with all its might now uh, the learner of course is going to continue with the course let's click next so the the note stays but as you can see it's in a, a kind of an inconvenient spot so the good thing about the note widget is allows the user to drag the note to wherever they wish and they can resize it as well so you can make it the appropriate size for whatever it is that your course is uh, uh, you know whatever area of the screen your course takes up you can change the color of the note so let's say you don't like the traditional uh, yellow post-it note color uh, maybe something more neutral like uh, a gray would be suitable but this is something that the learner does it's not something you set uh, but they have total control over the background color and they can type away as they learn about um, the things that your course uh, is teaching them um, you know the sun was shining the sea shining with all its might it did its very best to make the billows smooth and bright if anyone knows the source of this poem put it in the comments below I'm curious to see how many people recognize this so once I'm ready let's say I've progressed through the course I've learned as much as I'm going to learn and I want to save these notes because I you know they're valuable to me and, and later maybe this course is a part of an entire curriculum where I might need to write a final exam so um, I could print them which is you know fine but more likely what people will do is they'll click the save button here and the save button will allow them to save it to your desktop and you can call it what you will and uh, again incidentally um, the format it saves to is Microsoft Word not sure what it would do on the Mac because um, I don't have a Mac but but I think for a standard PC which is probably most people anyway um, you'll be saving to a Word format so this can be a part of um, of their um, their notes that they've taken for an entire course here and uh, so I'll just show you here 
it's got some funny characters in here but again all of the text um, appears you know in this word document so that's available for them there guys if you like the videos that I'm producing I encourage you to subscribe to my channel uh, also if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up